welcome to the ecotech kit in my previous video i explained the concept of id3 and c4.5 in today's video i will go into something known as cart which is nothing but classification and regression tree id3 and c4.5 was mainly related to classification problem it was not dealing with regression problem now we do have so many predictive problems so how do we go about we have something known as cart which helps in both classification and regression so classification and regression tree algorithm is a classification and regression algorithm used for building a decision tree based on gini impurity index as a splitting criterion so in id3 and c4.5 we were using something known as entropy or information gain to split our different different nodes but over here you are going to make your decision based on the gini impurity index now let's understand what exactly is cart and what are the steps involved in cart and how cart has advantages and disadvantages so cart was first introduced by leo bremen cart is something very close to binary trees now binary trees is a concept which is there in your data structures and algorithms it's very simple to understand that your each node that you have it is split into only and only one or two child classes nothing more than that so that is nothing but your binary trees now this cart uses something known as greedy recursive approach now what exactly is this greedy greedy means you are selecting the best features only and recursive that means you are doing the same process over and over and again so that you reach a point where you have satisfied all the conditions so the first step is to find each features the best split now how will we do that for each k values there are k minus 1 possible splits now find the split which maximizes the splitting criteria so first we have to find the features best fit or the best split for k values there are k minus 1 possible splits and finally not finally we have to find the split which maximizes the splitting criteria so in this case your splitting criteria is nothing but your gini in now find the node's best split using the splitting criteria now you repeat these steps until the stopping criteria is satisfied so basically till your gini index is being satisfied you go on recursively doing this process till the stopping criteria is satisfied so you first find the features then you find the best split and then you find the nodes using the gini and find the best split and repeat these steps till the stopping criteria is satisfied so it is greedy because it is using the best and recursive because you are repeating the step till the stopping criteria is satisfied i hope the steps involved in cart is clear for one and all now when we learn any model it's very important that we understand the advantages and disadvantages of model because if we do not understand the advantages and disadvantages we won't be able to apply it into different different scenarios now let us look at the advantages and disadvantages so the first advantage it is easy to visualize interpret and understand so this is quite simple to understand you do not need a lot of logical thinking to understand this because you have a binary tree it is split into two parts only so you actually understand what is going on now it implicitly performs feature selection now if you remember the first step first we were trying the features which are the best split so normally we'll have to do pca and feature selection and different different methods of feature selection to come up with the best features but over here rest assured 
everything is done in the algorithm itself it implicitly performs feature selection next it handles numerical and categorical data and we do not have to do any data preparation for this so if you have seen we had a lot of exploratory data analysis and pre-processing before we went into building a model but over here you have to just skip those steps and just jump into the modeling part now let us see the disadvantages so there is one more advantage the non-linear relationship between parameters hardly affect the performance of the tree so even if you have parameters are, which are non-linearly related with each other, it is not going to affect the performance of the tree. Now, let us look at the disadvantages. Now, the problem is that it creates over-complex trees. And as we have studied, something which is over-complex fails to generalize. So we cannot use the model for unseen data. It fails to generalize. So that is a biggest disadvantage of your cut. It is quite unstable. Now, if I change the data a little bit, then all of a sudden the decision tree that is made is completely different from the original. So it is highly unstable. Now, the greedy algorithm which we spoke about, that is choosing always the best using the guinea. It cannot always guarantee that you will reach a globally optimal decision tree so in all our models at the end of the day we want to reach a position where we are at the least cost point or where we have global minimum here we are not reaching that globally optimal decision tree always using the greedy algorithm now bias trees are created if some class over dominates so what happens certain trees would be biased in favor now if there are more number of males than females the results would be biased in favor of males so these are the disadvantage of cut i hope the steps involved in preparation of cut the advantages and disadvantages of cut is clear for one and all Thank you. Do like, share and subscribe to the Ecotechie. If you have any queries, please feel free to post it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.